It's March. It's March. We're going to jump into the March edition of the local business news update. This is still one of my favorite things that we do. It's short, it's sweet to the point. We get to talk about what's happening, who's moving, what's going on in our community with local business. Mm -hmm. You got to experience a local business for the first time. Was it yesterday? I got to eat. I did not eat a local business. I <laughs> ate from a local business. Um, we were actually over at Stone's Throw in Fairhaven. I was with my mom and, and my wife, Em, and we got to experience Bry's Filipino food, which was delicious. Thank you, Bry and company for making us awesome food. So we had barbecue chicken, we had lumpia, we had, um, I think it was coconut chicken and pork adobo and all that was like, great. I was in a coma on the couch in a good way, mm -hmm. like really happy. So thanks, Bry. Go eat it. Check it out. It's delicious, fresh, and comfort food. Like really good comfort food. It really food. is. Yeah. A huge congratulations to Roxana, the owner of Pika Bump. If you have not heard of Pika Bump, it is a ultrasound clinic here in Bellingham. It's in the Crown Plaza building, and it is a private ultrasound space. So uh, the tagline, I think, is something like a date with your baby. She does oh. 3D and 4D ultrasounds and people can go in and kind of see baby move around and do gender scans and all these uh, like non-medical, more emotional based type ultrasound oh. experiences. She has this lovely little suite there. And so congratulations to Roxana on your fourth year in business coming to a close and cheers for all the years to come. Cheers. Another congratulations to a brand new business that opened at the very beginning of this month. Congrats to Hunter Weiner. He is a CPA and an experienced financial planner of the last couple of years. He's been working with a larger firm and he recently branched off and started his own gig. And so congratulations wow. to Hunter on going independent. And we're so excited for how you're going to build Linden Financial Planning. Um, so congratulations to you, Hunter. Cheers to your journey. It's a journey. It is. It's a good journey. It's a hard journey, but it it's is. a good journey. Yeah. So cheers to you. And we have another opening Madrona veterinary house calls. So Dr. Claire McPhee has been practicing as a veterinarian for quite some time now in Bellingham, I think almost a decade. Right on the decade. Yeah. Right on. And she recently opened up a service that's offering in-home care for aging pets, along with compassionate and empathetic care for both pets and family. So we all know for those of you pet lovers out there that mm -hmm. have had pets age, or young pets and in the future we'll need to plan for something like this. This It's mm -hmm. an emotional experience because pets are our best friends and they're mm -hmm. emotional um, support for us and they're, they're everything and we mm -hmm. don't deserve them. They're so awesome. Right. And so this is a really great way to accommodate pets and family in that later years of life. So mm -hmm. really, really, really huge uh, thank you to Dr. Claire McPhee for creating a service like that for the emotional journey of uh, being a pet owner and friend. All right, and we have an event that we've actually talked about mm -hmm. on the show before, which is the Red Barn Market this weekend in Linden at the Linden Fairground. 90 vendors, go check it out. Uh, Kelsey's been featuring vendors on Instagram the last couple of weeks. So head up there, check them out in person and get some great local goods. And this is our rapid fire section. We have four businesses that we know of on our list of upcoming openings that we're keeping an eye out for those grand openings. As we all know, opening a business and especially opening a brick and mortar store involves a lot of permitting, a lot of building out a space. And so sometimes it means we don't quite know when these businesses are going to open, but we want you to follow them on Instagram so you can follow their journey and be notified as soon as they know when they'll be able to open those doors so that we as their Bellingham community can roll up and show up, right? That's right. And don't be the friend that finds out through a friend about a business. You want to know right when it opens up so you can be the friend that tells your friends. Exactly. So go check out Anytime Toffee. Slice of Heaven, Nomad Charcuterie and Wine, and Quantum Leaf. All of these businesses will be opening in the coming weeks or months, so please follow them on Instagram and get to know what's going on behind the scenes as they're getting ready to open their stores to us. And before we wrap this up, from me to you, from us to you, one of the biggest things in starting out a business is ensuring that you have momentum. It's so mm -hmm. hard to get momentum at the start, even if you have an amazing product or service. Mm -hmm. The first part is really hard. So it's really important that if you are plugged into the Bellingham community and want to support local businesses, follow these people on Instagram because the social media growth mm -hmm. and telling your friends if you have a good experience or you get to know the owners, mm -hmm. help grow the, grow the word because the word is, in my opinion, equally as important, um, if not more important than 
you just buying something from them. Yeah. Right. Because if you're telling other people, mm -hmm. they're going to buy stuff if it's a good service or product. And so it's really important that yeah. the word buy stuff there, but also sp uh, spread the word. It's really important. As always, I want to encourage everyone that watches this or listens to the Building Bellingham podcast or follows Live Bellingham now. If you are a new business owner or know of a new business starting up and would like to get the word out there, please just let us know. It's a simple DM to Tiffany or mm -hmm. myself, text or call us. We'd love to get you featured on this. It's a non-monetized community podcast mm -hmm. and we want to support you. And this is free to you. So thank you for supporting us and thank you for submitting this last month's uh, uh, upcoming events and uh, happenings. And thank you for joining us. <laughs> nice. And Nomad. <laughs> so fun fact, recently voice to text uh, autocorrected that as shark hootery. And shark I will now accept no other hootery. spelling. <laughs>